Now it's time for my favorite new segment, tell me again how it's the left that's gone to the extreme. Gaslighting is a term that's often used in relationships when one person attempts to manipulate someone else by forcing them to question their own sanity. It's a means of control, where they basically say, ignore what you are seeing in front of you because that suits the abuser. Kind of like what the Republicans are doing right now with this abortion ban here in Missouri. Here's what you are seeing. No exceptions outside of immediate and extreme health risk of the pregnant person, leading to horrific examples like a 10-year-old having to travel across state lines to get the care that they need after being sexually assaulted. Or being forced to be re-traumatized by the state because they have to carry that pregnancy to full term. Or... As one of the authors of this bill said when it passed, Exceptions that you're discussing, they're built in. If it was up to me, the injustice of abortion would be gone uh, nationwide, but that's not up to me. We have the law, and that's why we crafted it this way. So uh, in, in the instance of rape, incest, these, these issues of exceptions, there's an exception built in. You know, while, while I do believe that life does begin at conception, somebody who's a victim or, or, you know, wants to seek medical treatment and seek that abortion up to that eight weeks, they are allowed to do so. That's a lie. I mean, obviously that's a lie. Nick Schroer is currently running for state Senate and he has no regrets. Now, before you tell me that this was an eight week ban, it had a trigger law that would outlaw abortion at conception. And so we are clear for an eight week ban to go into effect, some portion of Roe v. Wade was going to have to be overturned. So this was always meant to be a ban at conception. In fact, many people said that when it was passed, but Republicans said, no, no, no. You can ignore that. Don't believe your eyes. Trust us. Now, just for fun, let's watch the rest of this exchange between Schroer and Representative Barry Hovis. This is the perfect example of when someone tells you who they are, you should believe them. And I've worked, I've been a person who's taken reports of rape. I've taken reports of incest. I uh, have been involved in those investigations, and there's many different levels when we talk about those things. All of them are terrible. By having this point not start until eight weeks, let's just say someone goes out and uh, they have, or, or they're raped, or they're sexually assaulted one night after a college party. Because most of my rapes were not the, the gentleman jumping out of the bushes that nobody had ever met. That was one or two times out of a hundred. Most of them were date rapes or consensual rapes, which were all terrible. Say someone is sexually assaulted, they have eight weeks to make a decision. I've, I've never really studied it, but I've heard of the morning after pill, where if someone feels that they've been sexually assaulted, they could go do that. Gives them ample time in that eight weeks to make those exclusions, which I may not be comfortable with, but it does give those people that exclusion. And I wanted to point that out to you while we were talking about it. Yeah, and gentlemen, I agree. That's, you know, why we, we crafted it, looking at the, the different cases from. So, one more time. Tell me again how it's the left that's gone to the extreme. 